The congregation would like to stand again and sing with us, What Child Is This?
And uh, so they're all safe and sound, and uh, we're thankful for that. But as I was thinking about the Christmas program and the involvement of the kids and all the excitement of the holidays, you know, when we celebrate birthdays, they're very personal, aren't they? When it comes to your birthday, you're looking for all that attention. I know I am. I always tell people I have the gift of receiving. I think it's my spiritual gift. Never turn down a gift, you know? But you know, Christmas should be a very personal day as well. Should be a day that's personal to all of us because that was God's intent that the birth of Christ was very personal to each person on planet Earth. Going back to the story in Luke chapter 2, I read this week. Notice I brought my big Bible today. I almost need wheels to, to carry this around. But the reason is there's four translations in this Bible. And every once in a while I like to read the passages and compare all the various translations. And I was doing that this week with Luke chapter 2. And I want to read from the Amplified Bible those first 12 verses. It says this, in those days, it occurred that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole Roman Empire should be registered. This was the first enrollment, and it was made when Quirinius was governor of Syria. And all the people were going to be registered, each to his own city or town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea to the town of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David. He went to be enrolled with Mary, his espoused wife, who was about to become a mother. And while they were there, the time came for her delivery, and she gave birth to her son, her firstborn, and she wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room or place for them at the end. And in that vicinity, there were shepherds living in the field, watching over their flocks by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood by them, and the glory of the Lord flashed and shone all about them, and they were terribly frightened. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will come to all people. For unto you is born this day in the town of David a Savior who is Christ. And this will be a sign for you that you will find him, the baby, wrapped in swaddling clothes and laying in the manger. 